In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video wall or a video grid effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a brand new 1920 by 1080 sequence created, we're first going to begin by just adding our footage. Now, for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use this one clip, but we'll duplicate this eight times. So we've got nine copies of this footage. So I've dragged my footage in and I'm just going to stack this one up on video layer two. We'll create another one on video layer three. Then I'm just going to copy all of those up. So now we've got six. And then I'm just going to drag this up so I can see what I'm doing and I'll copy these last six up. Of course, if you were doing this specific effect, then I would imagine you would be using nine different video clips. So essentially you want to drop your first video clip onto video layer one, your second onto video layer two, third on three, four on four, and carry on in that order. You want to make sure that all of these clips are sitting on top of each other. If they're sitting next to each other like this, then the problem is they're not going to be stacked on top of each other, which means they won't appear when you play the footage back. So make sure they're all sitting on top of each other. Now from here, I'm just going to turn off all of the layers except for one. So we'll just press this eyeball icon on all of the layers except for this specific one. Now we'll go up into the motion tab. So if we select that first video, go up into effect controls on the top left of Premiere. You can see we've got motion here and we've got scale. So we're going to pull the scale down to 30. There you go. You can see that is 30% and that is filling that tiny part of the screen. Now we'll go up to position. We'll pull the position all the way over to the left and then we'll pull the position up to the very top left corner. Now from here, we're just going to select motion. We'll go command C on the keyboard. That is to copy or alternatively, you can right click on motion and select copy. But you want to make sure you copy that scale and position. We'll turn video layer eight on and we'll select that layer and we'll paste. So command V. Or alternatively, if you don't want the keyboard shortcut, you can select motion and select paste. Now we'll go into position and we'll move this over into the right. Now, if you wanted to make sure that this was in the very center, you can press these arrows here. So that's put it in the very center and then take note of the vertical number. So our vertical is 162. So we'll go to video layer eight and pull this to 162. There you go. Now from here, we're going to go on to video layer seven. We'll go command V that has copied this top left. So we'll just move the position over to the right. There you go. Now we'll go to video layer six. We'll turn that on. We want to paste command V and we'll pull the position down. We're going to do the same like we did with this top middle one here. So we're just going to press this reset button. So let's put it there. But the problem is we need this to be over to the left. So we're going to take note of this position. So we'll go up to video layer nine. The horizontal position is 284. So we'll go to six and we'll turn this to 284. There you go. Now we're just going to copy that position there. We'll go to video layer five, turn that on, hold command V and we'll reset the position. Now that has naturally gone where it needed to go to. So we'll go down to video layer four, command V or paste and we'll move the position over to the right. Now you want to make note of this horizontal number. So that was seven. The horizontal number is one, six, two, nine. So video layer four, the horizontal can be one, six, one, six, two, nine. There you go. That looks perfect. It's really important that you're copying the horizontal and the vertical positions on these, because if they're slightly out, you can see it doesn't look quite right. So make sure those numbers are all matching. Then we'll go to video layer three. We'll go command V. And again, you can see we need to pull this down. So we move this down onto the very bottom. So around there, copy that one. So we'll select motion, command C or right click copy video layer two, command V and we'll move the position over to the center. Again, we'll do this button here. So make note of 917 and then we'll change this back to 917 after hitting reset. Then we'll do the same thing again for video layer one, turn it on, command V, center it up, 917 there, and then we'll just pull this across to the end. Now you wanna make sure you take note of this number here. So that was 1629, horizontal can be 1629. And there you go. That is your video grid now essentially complete. 
Of course, if you wanted to edit the position or the scale of any specific video, then you can. So it will affect this video one, and that is one, two, three, four, five. Let's go to video layer five. We'll make this one bigger than the other ones. And if you wanted this one to sit on the very top, then we'll just drag this onto the very top like so. Now, if you wanted to add a black border around the outside of this video, then you can do so by copying that layer. So we'll go option, hold option, and we'll drag that video layer up. So you made a copy of video layer five. So the top layer is this layer, and then there's a layer underneath it. So we're going to increase the scale of this layer underneath to 53. We'll go to effects and search for levels. We'll drop levels onto that bottom layer. So video layer 10 at the moment. And then we can just go to black input level and pull this all the way up to 255 or 254, whatever. And as you can see, that has created this border. So essentially what we've done is we've copied this top layer, added it underneath, we've increased the scale of it, and then we've just added this levels effect onto it to make that black. Now, if you wanted to make that a different color, then all you have to do is go into effects, search for tint, drop tint onto that layer and select map black to and select a color of your choice. Now, of course, because we've adjusted the scale and moved these around, you can see we've got this black background poking through. That isn't actually a black background. It's a transparent background, but it makes it black by default if there isn't a background there made by yourself. So that means you can actually add a background in place of this black video. So we're going to select all of those bottom layers there. We'll drag those up one layer to free up video layer one. Now we'll go into our project window. We'll go to new item, black video, press OK on this layer and we'll drag that onto video layer one. Now make sure this is the same duration as all of the other clips. Then we'll go into effects, search for tint. That should already be there because we've just used it. We'll drop that onto the black video and select map black to and we'll select another color of your choice. And there you go, you can see we've now got a blue background rather than a black background. Of course, if you wanted to add a gradient, then you can just search for ramp instead of tint. So drop ramp onto that black video. You can see we can select start color, or we'll select a uh, pink. The end color can be blue, like a nice aqua blue, we'll press okay on that. And we can change the position of the start by moving this arrow over here, this circle. We'll move the end of ramp over to the bottom right. And you can see we've got pink down into blue. And of course you can copy that effect onto this red layer here. So that was this one, command V. And you can see that's now copied that onto there. So there you go. That is how you make a really stylish and effective, but also really simple video wall slash grid effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.